Hi everyone, welcome to the fifth episode of Art Jam with Urmila. This time, I'm in the energetic retail heart of Hong Kong, Causeway Bay, which also happens to be one of the inspirations for the artist of the episode. He invited me to his studio and his home, but this was not what I was expecting at all. It looked like I had walked into a home decor magazine. I was expecting paint strewn everywhere, messy inspirations lying around, but boy was I wrong. He had to be the neatest and the most organized artist I have met. So I guess I need to stop using that stereotype to cover up my messy habits. Uh, it's also said that your home should reflect your personality. His home was like a visual map of his journey so far. The different places that he had traveled to, the inspiration that he had carried back, everything woven into an adventurous and colorful tapestry of his time through different geographies. As someone who loves travel and art, I can definitely say that his life is a gypsy adventure that one can dream of. So now it's time to meet the artist, the one and only Francesco Lietti. So hi Francesco, um, you know I, I love your art so much. You have to tell me what's your inspiration. Okay, the inspiration would be uh, of two types. Mm -hmm. So if it's Hong Kong, obviously I just have to look outside of my window. Yeah, yeah. Or I, I have a, a motorbike that I like very much and I try to use it on the hills. Yes. And try to see and find different angles, yeah. take photos and get inspired. Yeah. Kind of yes. Which is not a difficult thing in a place like Hong Kong. If it's a travel piece, then it would be, you know, it would be generated from an adventure, a trip where I, I do things, I try the foods, I, I see the colors, I wow. see the places, yeah. I collect some elements like ticket, bus tickets, receipts, yes. sand, yes. Yes. Yeah, you know, like I showed you before, and then yes. I'll bring it back and, and I'll, I'll generate the piece based on right. my memories and emotions uh, of that place. How does this magic happen? And what I like to do, I like to put a lot of layers on the canvas even before I start. So bits of collage, right. magazines, newspapers, like for example the travels that we talked about right. before. I bring a newspaper and I collage in. Right. And then I start doing main elements, like in the case of Hong Kong, it would be big boxes of color. Correct. And then I start defining the composition, the sea line, the heels. Mm -hmm. right. And then I start adding more um, things like boats, mm -hmm. planes, text on the buildings, yeah. manual lines, details, yes. until at one point I feel I cannot add anything anymore. Oh, and that's to me, to me. So if you're interested to know more about my work, you can check out my book. Mm -hmm. It's called Colors of Asia, uh, paintings by Francesco Lietti. Yeah. yeah, so Francesco, you have to tell me what are your final tips like for young artists and upcoming artists? Well, I think the main thing is to work on your style. Yeah. That's the most important thing since there are so many artists and so many styles you need to find your voice. Right. And then just keep consistent and keep working. Keep on. at it. For more such content, like, share and subscribe. And until next time, keep it colorful.